UFOs are real, burgeoning, and not going away. I am your intrepid host, L.A. Marzulli. This is our weekly UFO update. We'll get into that. But first, a word from our trusted sponsor. Reign in wealth like King Charles with a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investments. Just as King Charles' magnificent gold crown symbolizes wealth and power, a gold IRA can fortify your own financial kingdom. Imagine the confidence that comes from a retirement back by a tangible, proven asset. That's right, folks, it's gold. And we've invested with Noble Gold, and frankly, I'm glad we did. This asset that's not at the mercy of unpredictable market swings. A crown may not be included, but isn't a future free of financial stress a worthy throne? Like royalty, enjoy the luxury of choice. Gold, silver, platinum, or palladium, the realm is yours to command. Fend off concerns about economic downturns and let your wealth thrive with the timeless security of precious metals. This month, the first solid one quarter ounce gold standard bullion coin ever issued with Charles III's image can be yours with your own qualifying gold IRA or 401k rollover or $50,000 or higher. Folks, you can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. Call Noble Gold, 877-646-5347 to get started or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's once again, noblegoldinvestments.com. I'll say it again, folks. My wife and I invested in gold, and boy, am I glad we did. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. We're nearing 200,000 subscribers. We really thank you that uh, many of you come here on a daily basis. When we go to conferences, we hear this from the folks. They come up to the table and they say, wow, you're in our living room every night. That's a great honor. And uh, we try to do our best to vet everything that we do. Uh, we don't disparage anyone that comes on the show. I think it's pretty obvious by some of the... Uh, um, interviews of, of late. We give people a chance to talk and present their view. We may disagree with it, but that's fine. Um, we, I believe in, in, in a dialogue that embraces people that, in other words, reaching across the aisle, even though we may have different worldviews like Serena uh, last, last week, part two of that in particular. Um, I had all sorts of, you know, oh, she's a Nazi, she's this, she's that. Well, it doesn't matter what she is, does it? The fact that you get to hear an alternative viewpoint. That's the point of the show. We get to hear what other people think, what other people's world, world views are. And if it differs from our view, the biblical prophetic narrative, that's fine. I know where I stand. I know what my truth is. And I would go as far as to say, I know what the truth is. But you can't beat people over the head with that. Got to love on them, but not equivocate, not back down on our position. We know what we believe. Jesus was the Son of God. He was the Messiah that was prophesied. He's the only person ever to fulfill all those prophecies. I'm getting way out of what I wanted to talk about today, but we'll get there. But, um, you know, he, he fulfilled all these prophecies. What are we to think of that? And all those prophecies he fulfilled were from what? The Tanakh, the Old Testament. So there you have it. The five-part DVD set, we are shipping it. So um, we thank you for your patronage. And for those of you who are contributing to our film series, thank you. Your name will be in the credit. You can, if you want to donate to that, that's great. We sure appreciate it. And uh, we've had some great donations, which keeps things moving here. By the way, I was at Prophecy Watchers last week, and I, I filmed with uh, Mondo Gonzalez, of course, and, and Gary Stearman, elder brother. Uh, Gary turned 85 on Monday, so that's pretty amazing. Anyway, folks, let's get into this. So, exclusive UFO hunting Harvard scientists say debris from unidentified object that crashed in the Pacific Ocean in 2014 appears artificial in origin, and they could be remnants of an interstellar spacecraft. So, the bottom line is, the powers that be, this is now media. It's, it's, it's in all forms. It's on, it's on radio and television and newscasts and all over the internet. It's on TikTok. There's a lot of nonsense out there. What are we looking at here? The fact that this is, this is where we are in 2023 is not alarming, but we need to pay attention to what's happening because we are in uncharted waters. We are, we are climbing the rungs of the ladder of disclosure to disclosure happens. Folks, it's going to happen at some point. Here's something else. This is from the Washington Examiner. House investigator warns UFOs are beyond control in our military airspace. So once again, we see this 
a lot of it, not all of it, but m much of it is couched as a threat to national security. So it's 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 beyond our capability to control. They look. I've been saying this for years. They these craft move with impunity all over the earth. They come and they go as they please. Our jets, who scramble like David Commander David Fravor in 2017, they try to close in on the thing to shoot the thing, the UFO craft, the tic tac shaped object, the tic tac shaped UFO speeds away like a bullet out of a gun. What are we to make of that? Um, and then we get th this is the Washington Examiner, okay? This is a fairly reputable paper. And what are they talking about? They're talking about the burgeoning UFO phenomena. And how are they couching it? UFOs are beyond control in our military airspace. Basically, they're telling you and me that these craft move with impunity. We can't stop them. They appear and disappear. Our fastest jets who are scrambled, like Commander David Fravor in his F-18, can't close in on them. And when they do, the craft jam Commander David Fravor's uh, radar, which, of course, is an act of war. Seeing is believing Roswell whistleblowers and why we are still obsessed with UFOs. Well, you know, folks, we're not obsessed with UFOs, but if this is the coming great deception, and I have spent decades writing books and producing videos all about this. By the way, it's the 76th year, 76th anniversary this weekend of the Roswell crash. I was at the debris field. I was at the debris field. OK, and we discovered some items in that debris field, which will blow your mind. We've had them analyzed. Some of this, of course, is, is uh, will be revealed in number seven and number eight. We probably have two films that's going to happen more than likely in the fall. So number six, the one I'm working on now is on cattle mutilations. And I promised by the end of June, obviously, we're not going to make that unless, of course, I have a time machine. But uh, I'm working on it on a daily basis and hope to get that out somewhat soon. Roswell. Everything changed in Roswell. The, and, and you'll see this in our film. We had an opportunity. Our government, your government, had an opportunity to tell the people the truth. They didn't do that. They didn't do that. The initial story, Army captures flying disc. 24 hours later, they redact that. Ramey said excitement is unjustified. And they tried out Jesse Marcel Sr. And they basically they disparage him. Why? Because they have a weather balloon. To think that Jesse Marcel Sr. would not know the difference between a weather balloon and something from another planet or whatever. Look, folks, we were at the debris field about three weeks ago, and it was amazing. And we found some stuff, and I'll get into that. I'm not going to tell you what it is right now, but I will tell you eventually. I don't have it in my possession. Um, two of the people that we were with, they, we found two items, and I think you'll find these incredible. Part of the film is to clear Jesse Marcel Sr.'s name. Not that we can really do that, but we're trying to do it. I've always believed that Marcel Sr. was telling the truth. We interviewed uh, Dr. Jesse Marcel Jr. years ago, and that interview is in our book, um, UFO Disclosure, the 70-year-old cover-up uh, exposed. So that came out, I think, in 2017 or 2018, excuse me, 2018. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of water has uh, gone under the bridge. You know, it's like five years later. And it's, it's pretty amazing where we are. So, yes, Roswell was important because they got it right with the first headline. They got it right. So here you go, folks. This is what they said 76 years ago. And then that was followed by this headline. Jim Ramey empties the saucer and said, all the excitement is not justified. So that's it. They gave us the truth, and then they quickly redacted it. Where did that order come from? And why is it that anyone, there was a film a number of years ago by a Christian film company, and I'm not going to disparage them. They're not here to defend themselves. They can believe what they want to believe. They made a really good film. Richard Shaw and I went and we saw it. We completely disagree with a lot of what's in that film. One of the things in particular, one of the points in particular, is that Roswell was a weather balloon. Roswell was not a weather balloon. And in our films, number seven and eight, and that'll be out this year. I promise you it will be. We're working on it right now. We are in post-production. So we'll get into that. Because what we discovered, not only from other witnesses and, and eyewitnesses, we actually interviewed Jesse Marcel Jr.'s widow, Linda Marcel. We interviewed Marcel, Jesse Marcel Jr.'s daughter, Denise. All these people come on the record. I think you'll find the films absolutely riveting. And of course, we actually go to the debris field. And I want to thank our, our good friend Chuck Sikowski for helping us line up some of the interviews. 
but moving right along. So what are we to make of this when we see petroglyphs? And I've shown this before, but I, I kind of linger on it. So there we have what I, would what I would basically posit would be a typical gray. And what's this? So Native Americans know about all this. I said this last week, that in some of the sweat lodges, they are calling down the grays. The grays are manifesting. Stephen Greer, CE5, where they actually meditate in the circle and they call these entities into the room. And sometimes the entities will appear. The question is, what, what are we calling in? And through the practice of Eastern meditation, in my opinion, that's something that we need to stay away from. Anyway, folks, I will be at the Go Therefore conference. It's coming up. It's the last weekend uh, in July. Great speakers are going to be there. We're also bringing our film crew, Gil Zimmerman, uh, my partner in all of this, and of course, Jim Peterson, who is our sound man now. Um, and when I say sound man, you know, we, we don't go out twice a week. It's maybe once every couple of months we go out and we're filming. But we will be there and we'll be filming. And, and if you want to come on the record and tell us what you think disclosure looks like, that's why we're going to be set up in a room. The cameras will be rolling. This will all be for the last UFO film. So go there for a conference .com. Check it out. It's links are all over the place. Links are right down below here. Um, Hope to see you there. Right now, they've got 150 people signed up, plenty of room. I'm hoping for 300, so we'll see where that goes. Don't forget our five-box set. Folks, if you've had a UFO experience, please email me at UFO, UFO at lamarzulli.net. That's UFO at lamarzulli.net. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Uh, the book, Further Evidence, went to the printer today. Uh, that We're gonna, only going to print 1,000 of them. So far, we'll do our typical pre-sale. But this has incredible stories in it, incredible riveting information, and I think you'll find it interesting. So we're getting that back in print because it's so apropos. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Remember, UFOs are real, burgeoning, and not going away.